Hey guys, it's just Master Stream, and today I would like to show you a game I just played. Uh, something went wrong with the audio, so I'm just gonna go through the moves. So I start with the e4, and they answer with the Karok and defense. Uh, so uh, c6. I play the knight f3, and uh, they go with the d5. So I advance e5, and they play with e6. Uh, so obviously I have to play d4 now and uh, they decided to go for knight d7 so pawn c4 I, I, my idea is to break down their strong uh, strong d pawn so they go uh, with f6 so they decided to do the same from the other side so yeah um, c takes d5 uh, and c takes a d5 back uh, so bishop b5 a6 hitting the bishop and now queen a4 so they cannot take the bishop uh, because uh, then queen will uh, get the rook all right computer says rook has to sidestep or take the pawn so let's see which move they played f takes e5 and knight uh, takes e5 back so they play knight f6 and position is uh, quite equal actually it says a little tiny advantage to black I don't know why I think there's a lot of pressure on this guy okay so castles king safety first and bishop d6 <coughs> apologies so bishop d2 well oh, computer says it's not not a good move so minus 0.9 yeah, computer like to defend this. Hmm. Well, I thought if I'm p putting my bishop on f4, I'm gonna put it in a nasty pin and bishop is undefended. So, in case they can pile up on this guy, my bishop is... So, basically, I, I cannot move the knight because bishop will be undefended. But computer likes that move? Well, I didn't. So, I played bishop uh, d2 and I finally castle. So here, I think I'm quite forced to trade down. Looks like computer agrees with me. So knight takes d7, bishop takes d7, bishop takes d7, and queen takes. So computer also says I have to trade down queens. I decided to keep a uh, queens on the table. Wow, that's minus 1.6. That's actually really uncomfortable. Okay, 1.4 now. Going down. All right, so they get this knight in a nice e4 square. This is why I didn't play f pawn up because you know it, it would uh, support the center. But I decided to keep it uh, in case of this knight. Uh, I can just kick it away. Also, uh, now it's uh, threatening to take this guy and giving me a nasty fork. But here's my knight defending my bishop, so I don't mind. I played f3. Wow, this is the move computer uh, really don't like. Minus 2.6. So it should be really uncomfortable position for us. So knight takes d2 and knight takes d2 back. So uh, queen f7. So that wasn't the best. And <laughs> wow, <laughs> now every next of, uh, move I play is really bad. Okay, rook a to c1. Well, casual move for me, right? Because uh, I'm uh, just a club level uh, player and uh, this seems like a logical decision to put the rook on open file. And computer comes in uh, threatening some checks here. So I can still run. It's not checkmate. So, But uh, this advantage is minus 3.8. Alright, so I decided to put my knight up for grabs. So in case they get my knight I can take this pawn with a check and I take their bishop. Sounds good to me, right? And of course, uh, they started with a check. Minus 9.2. Basically, this is a last game for white. It should be. So, they give me... Apologies. They give me another check. Ah, yeah. So, here I block with the pawn. G3. And uh, now they pick up uh, the knight, you know, that I cannot take back because of the rook, there's a pin. So, And uh, I decided uh, to go rook fe1. 
and they take another pawn with the check. So computer says I should trade down the queens. Uh, I don't want. I'm down material. I want to fight. So they give me another check. I run. And okay, no more checks here. I played the best move. Yeah, and computer suggest they should sacrifice. I was thinking the same. I was really afraid of that. But they they were up in material and they decided not to not to lose that advantage. So a couple of uh, back and forth moves here. Okay, and now I finally get to move. So rook h1. The idea is to pile up here, maybe somewhere like this to get on the light square diagonal and checkmate the king. So they go with the e5. And I decided I'm gonna defend the rook. So rook h4. Also uh, rook f1 would be an idea. But I, I wanted to make a nice rook lift here. So e takes f4. And I played the best move. I didn't take back because this pawn is actually a nice shelter for me as you will see in future. So now mate in one threat. They had to deal with it. They give me a check. I just hide. So see this pawn is really nice. Okay so they're offering queen straight again. And again I say no because I really don't want to trade my strongest piece because I'm down so much in material. So I give a check, they run away. I push the pawn. So the reason is, if I don't push the pawn, they can give me this check here and then pick up the rook. So I just move the pawn, computer also agrees with me, that's a nice move. And they go queen g5, which just uh, hangs the queen. Now computer says plus 6.7 for white. Wow, that's a big blunder. Well, I saw it, I took it. They moved the pawn down. And here I decided, let's sacrifice. See, computer also liked it. So it's mate, actually. Yeah. I pre-moved this last move, by the way, in the game. Too bad I couldn't make a normal video with audio previously, because that was really nice. It's always amazing when you can pre-move the checkmate. Let's go back a couple moves and see... So it says plus 18, okay, mate in 7. Basically this is what I calculated. So bam, 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 a little shake and bake, and blocks and takes. See I did not uh, go uh, here for the bishop, because I knew it's a checkmate. Yeah, but uh, it wasn't too hard to calculate it, because uh, a lot of forcing moves and there was not much an escape for my opponent. So at this game I was defending as uh, good as I possibly can. <laughs> and uh, in the end they made a mistake. So in a chess one mistake uh, makes a huge difference. Uh, so if you can defend uh, for a while, then in the end you can actually win the game. Even though I was down so much in material, I did not give up because at this rating level players also make some mistakes. So I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.